hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is eliza at eliza journals and if you're new here welcome if not welcome back today i'm going to be showing you a mini haul that i got from planner monkey co i actually just heard of this company about a couple weeks ago so when you're seeing this video it's probably like three weeks behind but anyway so like I said before, I'm kind of behind on getting my content out because I recorded so many videos that it's just like the weeks just run together. So anyway, I purchased um, these planners from Planner Monkey Co. And what happened was my friend Hannah over on Instagram shared this screenshot of like this sale that Planner Monkey Co. was having on her website. And of course I had to go look around I went to go look around and behold her planners were 50 percent off and i'm not sure if the sale is still going on because by the time you see this video i'm pretty sure it won't still be going on because i bought these about two weeks ago from this video so anyway i decided to just take the plunge i've never ordered from her before and i just decided why not they're 50% off. So I paid about $60 without tax and with pretty much like, well, no, $60 with tax. And like, I think the shipping may have been like seven or $8 like that. Anyway, so I'm going to show you all what I purchased. And some of these are duplicates because you can't beat 23 dollars for two planners especially tomo river paper so these are i think 52 gsm tomo river paper notebooks and i'm just going to open it up and show you all what i bought and i for me i guess i'm just on the search for the perfect planner not really planner but it's just something specific that i'm really looking for that i'm not finding and i would say within the next year or two i would love to create my own notebooks i mean everyone else is doing it so i feel like i just want to personally do it for myself if i really had extra time i probably would become a small business owner in my head though <laughs> but let's see what we got and I don't think nothing else was in here. So it came in this bubble mailer. And so that's just my invoice. And then it came with some goodies. Welcome to the Happy Mail Club. This is so cute. And I know my friend Hannah, I think she's ordered from her before. So I'm so appreciative that she actually, I love this. This is so cute. I am definitely going to utilize this. So I'm gonna upcycle this and probably send someone some happy mail in this. But my friend Hannah, she shops at some really great notebook companies, I guess stationary companies. So when she shared it, I was, literally thinking to myself okay i need to try that company and this is like a thank you little card for your order a vision board postcard and then it says everything is possible but everything is not necessary and then a little sample sticker sheet which is super cute and i am going to use this in my work planner okay so let's get into what i bought so i actually like i said i bought duplicates of some things because i mean why not and what i really should have bought was the a6 but i didn't get the a6 because i was planning to get the a6 hobonichi cousin for next year so instead of me just buying the blank notebook which i really should have gotten i just ended up just purchasing these five 
notebooks okay so these two are comparable to the hobonichi weeks so i'm only going to open up one because it's the same thing it's 224 pages 52 gsm tomo river paper it has a four millimeter grid and it has 12 undated monthly spreads so anytime i purchase notebooks from a company they always have to be undated i never buy dated planners i never buy dated notebooks i never buy dated journals because to me i just feel like it doesn't make sense because i don't like the pressure of having to write in it every single day so the only pressure i'm really going to have for next year is really the hobonichi cousin because it does come dated i've never seen an undated hobonichi cousin so let's go through the layout and see how it looks and i'm going to pull out so i'm going to move this to the side so it really doesn't lay flat upon opening which that that's completely fine that's why i have a page holder So I can use this. I just want to just so I just kind of want to just okay so it doesn't lay flat upon opening and the binding is really the binding the binding of the cover like this particular cover it's really tight which is causing the cover not to to be able to lay flat so it's the cover is actually tighter than the actual binding of the spine okay so this is the monthly layout and it's 12 monthly pages so the binding is a little tight So I would say that if you want to use stickers in this, I would suggest that you not use stickers because the binding is extremely tight. So it's really tight in the spine. Okay. And I guess this page starts with pretty much it's undated so after the monthly layout it's just pretty much blank the pages are not numbered and it's pretty much blank throughout the entire planner but I do like that she used Tomo River paper because I mean, I love Tomo River paper and I actually love the color. Sorry y'all, if my camera is shaking, I'm literally having to break the spine. And sometimes I just hate doing that because it, sometimes if it's not really binded really well, the pages will start to come out. Not in this because I've never had this before but sometimes that's what happens when he break the spine so as you can see it's like it creases the spine but this is just how it looks so it's 12 monthly calendars undated and then it goes into blank pages for you to create your own spreads which I actually appreciate that it's just blank so I actually pretty much like that and so what i actually want to do is i actually just want to use maybe this 
page is just a pen test. I'm gonna just test one pen just to see how it reacts with the paper. So I have, this is a Twisby Eco Demonstrator. And then this is Diamond Twilight. And I just want to see how, because Diamond Twilight is very juicy. So as you can see, there is some shadowing. No bleed through, but just some shadowing. And I'm not, and I really don't care too much about the shadowing because that's just to be expected with Tomo River paper it does shadow especially when you use juicy fountain pens so it takes probably I would say a good 10 seconds to dry but just shadowing no bleed through Okay, and we're going to look at the standard traveler's notebook size, which has 224 pages, 52 GSM, four millimeter grid, 12 undated monthly spreads. I actually love this. I think it's gold. I really can't tell if it's gold or silver, but I love the floral, the foiling of the floral. And then this is just a regular tra standard traveler's notebook size. And you can literally hear the spine breaking. I hate that. I'm sorry, spine. But you can literally hear the spine breaking. And I do this even to my books too, but I do it very gently as to not, you know, ruin the, the book. But I always go through and break my spine, you know. So, does it lay flat? Not really. It lays flat once you break the spine. So, as you can see, now it lays flat. And then I expect that to be like that because it is new. So, this is just the traveler's notebook size. This is the standard one. So I bought this one because I'll show you in a minute. So if you're new to my channel and you have not seen my previous video with my sterling ink and or Estelle review, I'm actually just going to show you that while I'm recording this video. And then this is the A5 size, which is the same page numbers. 224 pages, 52 GSM, four millimeter grid, 12 undated monthly spreads. And it still has that gold, gold or silver floral foil at the bottom. And I forgot, and it also has the name of her company on the back. And I do like that it is very flexible. I love flexible covers. I love flexible books because this is just something I could really just throw in my bag and keep it moving but of course I would love to get a cover for this I'm actually going to try a cover on this while I'm recording this video because because I actually want to see if this cover from leather imagine that I had made about two years ago three years ago actually fits this it might, it might not, but I'm going to show y'all this cover that I got from Leather Imagine, and it's so beautiful. So these are the 12 monthly spreads, and they are undated. And then it goes into pretty much blank layouts. 
so you can actually create your layouts how you want them to be and i like vertical um yes i love vertical layouts so my layouts are always vertical i just have a thing for vertical layouts i do not like horizontal layouts and if something's horizontal i quickly turn it into a vertical layout so i absolutely love this and i bought so i have two a5 one standard traveler's notebook and then i have two pretty much comparable to the weeks hobonichi week size planners now what i want to do is i just want to see this is my mo term and i have this in my amazon storefront if you're interested in just trying one for yourself so this is a mo term hobonichi weeks cover and i just want to see if this actually fits this oh yeah it does so it fits perfectly just like the aura estelle so that fits perfectly and then i have a moterm that is the standard traveler's notebook size and i also have this linked in my amazon storefront is this the right bag I wonder is this the right bag it's kind of tight i think that is the wrong bag i think this is the bag for that okay so anyway i want to see if this would fit this i literally bought this traveler's notebook companion for something else and <laughs> it just did not work like I thought it would. And I really am looking for a sleeve because I really don't like these strings. And I really bought this for my Hemlock and Oak Traveler's Notebook, but it does not fit. And with these, these really... I need about two of these to to make this like really fit because of how wide the spine is one is just not enough you know and it's almost like I wish I could just put two in here like you would put two inserts in there and I don't know, Be, the thing about these, like the standard traveler's notebook sizes, for some reason, they it's, it's almost like they don't fit well. It pretty much, it wrinkles the paper. So, I would love to be able to utilize both of these in, in here because I'm going to be using these for different things. They just fit completely different than like regular inserts. And I'm really not sure what's the middle for this at all, but let's just see i'm always just trying different things it just wrinkles the paper but see how that pulls i just wish i could utilize this like regular inserts because of how I'm trying to actually use both of these. So it's just so weird. So if you see that, 
it's just i don't know it's just so weird i'm just trying to find a cost effective way to have covers for both of these without buying anything else for these because i do not like the strings and i don't like the standard traveler's notebook covers with the string i hate strings i do not like these i really like sleeves where you just slide the notebook into the sleeve but we'll figure it out so now what i wanted to do was i actually wanted to just show you all really quick the or estelle so this is the Aura Estelle. This is the weekly catch-all. I actually ordered a 2025 version of this, and that should be coming probably in a couple months because I pre-ordered it. And I love that the Aura Estelle has a wider binding, which makes this be able to lay flat versus the Planner Monkey Co. having a rounder spine and it's like all of the it's like the whole spine is trying to fit into this small cover so if you see that and then you can like tell the difference even here so this is a more square binding and then the planner monkey coat is a more round binding which creates that non-flat look okay so and then the monthly layout sorry y'all if i'm doing too much so the monthly layout is pretty much just completely undated undated but these have the days across the top and these don't and the boxes are really comparable the grid for the or estelle is probably a 3.5 and the planner monkey co is four millimeter grid so you definitely have a bigger grid with the planner monkey co and then when you go into the weekly layout the planner monkey co it does not have any layout it lets you design the type of layout that you want and the or estelle has pretty much a horizontal weekly like overview but then you get about three pages so one two three three free pages for you to write over here for the entire week so one two three and then it goes into another weekly layout And it's like this throughout the whole entire planner so I cannot wait to use I can't wait to use these to be honest okay so now I'm just going to show you the difference between the planner monkey co and the sterling ink planner so let me remove this um so of course both of them have their names on the back and the fabric of these are almost the same the planner for sterling ink is a little bit more pebble almost kind of like it's like a, it's almost it wants to be crop print but it's not and then planner monkey coat is more of like a true pebble but it's not pebble it's like between pebble and like faux crop print if you know what i mean i can't really describe it because it's not pebble and it's not crop print but it could be if the pattern and the design was a lot thicker so as you can see the sterling ink has a wider binding and it's more square versus the planner monkey co having a more rounded binding it's not as wide either as the sterling ink the sterling ink has gilded edges or foiled edges 
and the planner monkey code does not the sizes are pretty much the same it's just that the sterling ink is a lot wider but the sizes are completely the same and the sterling ink has 121 blank pages which to be honest i really don't i'm not fond of that at all because i don't even really know what i would do with 121 blank pages and this is a weekly layout so at the beginning you have 12 undated 12 undated monthly spreads in the planner monkey co as well as sterling ink the only difference with sterling ink it's, it's pretty much like a tracker like maybe a habit tracker a goal log or you know habit tracker future log and planner monkey code does not have that and then when it goes into the weekly layout it is completely blank with the planner monkey code but in the sterling ink it does have the hours going down in a vertical direction and it's like that for 52 weeks and the sterling ink and then you have 121 blank pages that you're able to do anything with so to be honest let me know in the comments what would you do with 121 blank pages because i'm really just not understanding <laughs> what i would do with them or if i would just divide the back into 52 weeks and this is how many pages i'll use for this particular month this is how many pages i use for this particular month so i really don't like how all the blank pages are actually in the back of the book because i really love a more compact style so if i was going to have blank pages they would be right behind the week so that if i was planning something once I do my weekly layout, I can go to my blank pages right behind the weekly layout and then continue my plans. So I really don't see, um, I just really don't see the logic in having all these pages in the back pretty much after the entire year is completed. And that's just me. I'm not saying I don't like the planner. I'm just saying if I created a planner, that's how it would be. And actually, that's pretty much what I'm looking for, which I have not found yet. I love the layout of the planner Monkey Co. But I also love how it's already separated for me in the sterling ink. So I do like that. I wish I could just mesh these together. <laughs> mesh these together. Um, or I wish I could just rebind this and put the blank pages behind each weekly layout. But nevertheless, I really, really love the planners and I, I love the flexibility. I love to be able to do this to my planners. So let me know what you think about the planner monkey code journals or planners because you can use these as anything you want because it's not dated and you can just use them however you want so let me know in the comments what you loved or liked or disliked about each planner that i show what are some of your suggestions for planners for 2025 tell me what you all are looking for let me know um in the comments something that you want me to review that i may have or just give me some video suggestions i love taking take i love taking suggestions because i love connecting with my audience so i want to do things that you all also will enjoy but thank you for staying to the end of the video if you stay to the end put a black heart in the comments and until next time thanks for watching bye okay so <laughs> the funny thing is i actually ended the video without showing you all the a5 sleeve that i bought from leather imagine like two three years ago and i totally
forgot. So after I ended the video, I was sitting and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even show them the A5 cover. So you're going to get this at the end of the video, which I know is unorthodox, but I rather just show you than not have showed you at all. So this is actually the A5 cover from Leather Imagine and it has her branding on the back and I absolutely love the leather. I actually had this custom made and I actually had her put green thread. Green's my favorite color. I had her put the green thread and I have like two pockets here and then when you open it up it is just sleeves and this is what this is what i love i don't like strings at all i hate them seriously i hate those because i just think it's just un i think it's unnecessary i i just love sleeves but you know the strings are for people who want to take multiple inserts i don't like multiple inserts i only want one book in an cover in a cover which is why i prefer just sleeves i don't like all that bulkiness in one particular cover so i am just going to just slide this in i'm just going to actually see if it fits because really this cover is really for like a small a5 kind of like comparable to a Lloyd's term archer and olive so i'm not sure what the measurements of this planner monkey co um planner is and then it's it's kind of it's paper so i'm trying to diligently slide this in here because i don't want to bend the notebook at all so i might have to struggle a little bit to get this in here because it's not in here all the way it's just because y'all just bear with me it's like it's leather it's like faux leather on real leather and it's just not it it needs to go in some more and i'm trying my best to just get it in here without wrinkling the notebook so let's see okay i think it's in there now see how i literally just i think i ripped that just now okay so if i close this okay it's in there now so it actually fits okay so that's awesome so i probably will be using this planner monkey co in here and i really don't know if i want to put this on this side i really just like it how it is Because I don't want to mess this up. Let's see if that actually closes. Sorry, y'all. Y'all have to see me struggling. But, hmm. So when you open it up, it opens up like this, but no i think like the planner itself is it, it's like it fits but i think it's because of the type of cover this is because it's like flexible it's not as sturdy as a regular like bullet journal like the hard cover so to be honest i really would just leave it like this when i open it up um because i think it would just do better if this was hardcover because hardcover opens and shuts way better but i actually like the way this looks so just let me know in the comments if you like this cover and would you use a cover like this i absolutely love this cover 
I've been wanting to use this cover for forever because I had nothing really to fit in here. But now that I do, I will definitely be utilizing this. So I'm thinking of utilizing this for my social media planner. I don't know yet. I just have so many things to choose from. But anyway, thank you for staying for this part of the video again. And like, share, subscribe to my content. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.